Our previous episode was entirely dedicated to boat work. In total, we spent about six weeks in Martinique, and most of that time was spent working on the boat. At the end of the last episode, we had to wait for some spare parts for our rigging, so we went out to Saint Anne to get some much needed downtime. That didn't work. Nope. Re anchor. Re anchor. We are dragging. <sighs> Fingers crossed we can do it this time. Otherwise, or probably either way, we're gonna put out two anchors. I'm gonna go and have a dive at the anchor. It's only the second attempt so far. So, I mean, at least we can do five or six more before we're getting tired of it and we'll go back to the marina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll go have a look. Good I'll be back. luck. a bit too long. can really recommend it though if you if you're in the Caribbean and you need to fix stuff on the boat. It's very it's a very good place. So how did it go? I think we went well. I think we managed to or we went well. I think we managed to foul the, the anchor chain. Because yeah. uh, we found a, a huge rock and we managed to get the chain stuck underneath. But it's no problem to just free dive and clear it when we're leaving. And now it's sort of acting like a anchor weight, so I think it's good. Yeah. Because we were backing down at well, 1500 RPMs and the anchor didn't move. That's just weird. After that uh, rather unusual waking up in the morning, Tovan Rasmus from Dias Natalis picked me up in the morning and we went for a little snorkel on the local reef in St. Anne. Later in the day, me, Steffi and Leo headed into St. Anne, the village, and we had a look around to see what it had to offer. Mm -hmm. We found some beautiful shops, a nice market and really friendly people. weeks of boat work. Look at this church. found a little track in inside the woods not not used to <laughs> walking now after all these weeks of boat work and yeah being on the boat it's really beautiful we're keeping up with our trek here through the the forest of Martinique. I think we're going to a beach. I'm not really sure where we're going. 
But I think there's a beach at the end of this trail. It's definitely are looking strong. Let's head on. It's beautiful though. We're walking right next to the beach. And there's this turquoise border. The boats are anchored off outside. It's like paradise. Yeah. Well, uh, we're in this really tight anchorage and uh, the wind turned. So now two our neighbors are basically on top of each other. But there's no, not really any wind, so it's not much happening. But it's still... That's close. It's very close. Yeah. But they're on mooring balls, so I don't get it. Or I think so. So what are we doing, Sophie? Uh, now we are getting inside the marina. Uh, yeah, and hopefully tomorrow we can get the... Uh, or soon, get the new parts for the rigging. So that we can fix that while we're in, in the marina. So our friends from DS Natalis just left for Bonaire. And they were so sweet and gave us this chart our Martinique to Trinidad just what we need and they gave us something even better this is like pure gold yeah. it is Especially when you're this far away from Sweden, that's cold. So thanks again guys and yeah, I hope we meet them again, maybe in the Pacific or maybe in Sweden. So we're going sightseeing in Martinique, finally, after uh, I think four weeks. So let's go. Since we were back in the marina, and we slowly started to realize that we wouldn't get to see that much more of Martinique this season. We decided to rent a car and have a look around the island that way instead. Hello! We're gonna go to Decathlon, doing some nice shopping. More than Check out the marina surroundings. Check out St. Pierre. Yeah, St. Pierre. Well, you gotta get your French pronunciation right. Mm, St. Pierre. Pierre. Oui, oui, oui. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't like that. Yeah, that's my mustache. So, do you see what I'm seeing? Oh, we just got back. Unfortunately, we couldn't film inside the store, um, but we're gonna show you guys later what we bought. This little guy got some new glasses. Much better sun protection. Another one. Instagram oh. story. Yeah. Yeah, we did the responsible thing. Yeah. So, Steffi, mm -hmm. what's that in your hand? Oh my god, can't film this. <laughs> this is uh, this is the life. <laughs> we ran out of time, and we needed food. Yeah. So. After Decathlon, 
we headed up to the north end of the island to see the city of Saint Pierre. Saint Pierre used to be the capital city of Martinique before it was destroyed in a volcanic eruption in 1902. Between 26 and 36,000 people died during the catastrophe. Only one person was left alive. He was found inside the city prison in a cell originally built as a bomb magazine. But I think this uh, room down here is the one where uh, the, the guy who survived was sitting. Uh, so, is that the only one that we can see that? Actually a room still. So this was the, uh, the prison. We're out of water, so we have to go back to the car. So we won't see that much more of Saint Pierre. But it's, uh, it's cool. I love it that they've, they've left a lot of the ruins. When walking around in the city of Saint Pierre, a lot of the ruins are still preserved. Which gives an amazing feeling of the destructive force that the volcano had on the city. Hi hey friends, okay. it's good oh, for me. Nice to meet you. First and you, my times. friend, Stan, it's good to your house. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, day two of the road trip. We are now in Le Vaclin. We had some uh, a less fortunate morning. We, ha we have been having some problems with our rig. So we ordered some spare parts from Seldeon in, in uh, France. And they were supposed to send it. And then they sent the box. But one piece was missing. So the actual bracket that was broken was missing. So we went back to the shop here and we said, what's up, it's missing. And uh, they said, oh, well, no problem. So then we'll send it with uh, Express Freight. It'll be here in three days. Today was three days later. Uh, it's still not here. And now they told us uh, today is Friday. And Seldean uh, in France didn't have the part. So they had to order it from Sweden. So next week on Friday, Seldean in France will have the part and then it's another three days for it to get to us The issue with that for us is that uh, we have some friends who's gonna visit us in St. Lucia That's gonna be next episode and um, Yeah, they're arriving before that so we can't wait So now we're trying to see if they can't send the parts down to Rodney Bay for us We'll see but uh, then we'll have to motor because we, we don't really trust the rigging with the brackets that are broken. So we don't want to put the sails up. So we have to motor all the way down to St. Lucian. I mean, that's fine, but it's not ideal. So we'll see how we solve this one. But today's day two of the road trip and uh, have a good day planned. During our Atlantic crossing, we had a lot of problems with seaweed fouling our fishing lines and getting stuck in the propeller and the wind vane. On this trip we went to the windward side of Martinique and that was the first time we got to see just how much seaweed was washing up on shore and the problems it was causing for the communities. We did a little pit stop, just enjoying the view, going up to the botanical garden. I love the jungle man. We found a new hat for Leo that uh, Steffi also really liked. And uh, I wish I could tell you that we got a group discount, we didn't, but it's so nice to have a nice white hat to get out of the sun, even though we kind of look like... Uh... It's super nice being here in a botanical garden, just walking around. We haven't seen much yet, but it's been really cool so far, so... I've got high expectations on the rest of this walk.
What did you just say? Uh, this tree started out as a coconut palm, palm, the palm tree. So if you look at the very, very top, you can still see some palm, palm tree leaves. There it is. That's very cool. So this is a strangler ficus. It starts as a seed. <laughs> now we knew we weren't going to get the parts we needed to fix the rigging. So instead of waiting around in Martinique, we decided to motor down to St. Lucia and meet up our friends and hopefully we will be able to solve all our issues there. But more about that in the next episode. So I hope you liked this one and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.